Welcome to VLSI lecture series. I, Professor Ritesh Dolakya, is going to explain you Nora Simos logic in this video. And here, before you understand Nora Simos logic and its working, there is bit history that one should know regarding Simos. See, we have studied static Simos, and in static Simos, we have seen there were NMOS block and PMOS block as pull down network and pull up network. So there were many transistors which were there in CMOS with static CMOS circuit, right? So to resolve issues of number of transistors, we were been having dynamic CMOS and in dynamic CMOS, we have seen we were been using only NMOS block with pull down network, right? So where we were been avoiding issues of number of transistors, we have decreased use of PMOS. Right, and one should know, see, PMOS size that is greater compared to NMOS and that's why engineers were avoiding usage of PMOS. And because of size of PMOS is large, speed of operation of circuit that is lower as well as size is greater and there were some other issues regarding capacitive loading. So by using dynamic circuit, we have, we have avoided those issues which were there regarding size which were there regarding circuit speed. But in dynamic CMOS, there were issues of race condition. And in cascading, dynamic circuits were having issues of false logic operation. So if you observe any integrated circuit, there were many circuits that is been connected in cascade, right? So as if you use dynamic circuit, with CMOS, then cascading issues that will be having larger impact. So to avoid that issue, we have studied Domino CMOS logic. But in Domino CMOS logic, there was a problem regarding delay at output with respect to clock. And because of that delay means one can say clock skew. In detail, I'll explain you what is clock, clock skew in next further videos. But because of issues of delay of clock skew, there was a race condition that was there with domino CMOS. So here, some other solutions are there to avoid those race issues and that is Nora CMOS. Right, so in Nora CMOS, we avoid racing condition of CMOS circuit. So Nora means no race CMOS circuit. Now, we will see a basic working and circuit of Nora CMOS step by step. So Nora CMOS means no race condition in CMOS. And as I have explained, there was cascading issues, which is there with Domino CMOS that was resulting into race condition, right? And to avoid that, we have Nora CMOS. And in Nora CMOS, all we do is we connect pull up and pull down network alternatively and by that we avoid issues of skew of clock. So in Nora CMOS, we connect pull down network and pull up network alternatively and by that we resolve issue of clock skew and because of that there is no race around condition. So let me explain you first how the basic structure is there. After that, we will see how it is functioning. So you see, first we'll be using pull down network that is even referred as N block. So here first we'll be having pull down network that is referred as N block. After that, there will be pull up network that is even referred as P block. After that, there is again pull down network and that is even referred as N block. So whatever Boolean function that we have, we bisect that in cascading as per pull down, pull up, pull down network in sequence, right? So here you see pull down network means N block, P block, N block. And if further cascading is required, then P block, N block, block that is how connection will be there. And with each block, there can be many inputs that is performing some boolean expression right so you see here 
by giving different inputs we can have performance of boolean expression now you see here with this block how we need to take output so with pull down network of n block we take output from this terminal and with pull up network of p block we take output from this terminal with pull down network we take output from this terminal now output of this block that we give it to input to this block and output of this block that we give it to input of this block right and at last we have final output so by having a connection of pull down and pull up network alternatively we avoid issue of clock skew now here for furthermore there are some connection that we need to understand and that is regarding gated clock so here we have vdd after there is pmos connection so with all we need to provide pmos connection after vdd now you see with n block we provide gated clock as clock and with this p block n mos we provide gated clock as clock bar right and with this terminal we need to provide n mos as a gated clock and then we need to provide ground connection so here after n mos we need to provide ground connection so this is how gated clock that we connect so this is how basic structure is there right now there are some questions that we need to understand see how this circuit functions so obviously see after each block there is output and that output may have some load capacitance right let us say here we have a load capacitance cl1 here we have load capacitance that is cl2 here we have a load capacitance that is cl3 right so that is how load capacitance is there at the output of each block right now when you have clock is equals to 0 obviously clock bar is equals to 1 right when you have clock is equals to 0 at that time you can say clock bar that will be equals to 1 so in that situation what will happen you see here we have clock that is equals to 0 and this is equals to 1 so that will make this pmos on and this pmos off and here this n mos that is off and this n mos that is on right so with n mos block this capacitor cl1 cl3 that will get charged to vdd right and with this pmos block this is on so cl2 cl4 that will get discharged to ground right and this is what referred as pre charging mode this is what referred as pre charging mode right now see evolution mode that is there with clock is equals to 1 means clock bar is equals to 0 so in that we do evaluation now you see clock is equals to 1 and clock bar is equals to 0 so in that case you see with this n block this p mos that will be off and this n mos that will be on this p mos that will be off and this n mos that will be on so with respect to boolean function this vdd that will get discharged or it will hold its voltage as per boolean operation right and if you observe this p block in that clock bar is equals to 0 means this will be on and this will be off so with respect to boolean function here output will be there right so simultaneously evaluation mode is functioning where there will be no delay 
at output side with respect to each block right so here we avoid issue of block so here when clock is equals to 1 clock bar is equals to 0 evaluation will happen with respect to pre-charge voltage which is there at load right and it will be operating with respect to boolean function which is there inside of this block now in next video i'll explain you how we can implement boolean function using this nora cmos block so that will resolve your understanding furthermore i hope that you have understood this video thank you so much for watching this video please do give your valuable suggestions the reason is your suggestions matters to me and based on that in future i'll be making videos which will be resolving your queries so please do give your valuable suggestions thank you